Hi everybody! Did you miss me? I missed you. I know that I said on Tuesday that I was going to do a video on Wednesday. However, to be honest, I needed a couple of extra days to process what's about to come next. So practicing what I preach, I decided to take a little bit of downtime to get ready. Okay, so I may as well just get right to the point. I needed a couple of extra days off because on Monday, that's August 28th, this Monday, as in like three days from now, I am going back to graduate school. I can't even say it. I'm going back to graduate school to get a master's degree in psychology at Harvard. What? Who? Where? Yes, I know. It sounds really weird, okay? But just hang with me for a second. The Harvard Extension School is sort of Harvard's answer to something like continuing education. All of the classes are designed around working people's schedules. Some of the classes are on campus and some of them are online. And you know that I spent half the year in Italy, so this is going to work out really well for me. But Jill, I didn't even know you were applying to graduate school. Well, interestingly enough, the Harvard Extension School functions a little bit differently. What you have to do, which I appreciate actually, is instead of taking all those like stupid standardized tests and me finding transcripts from 20 years ago, all I have to do, all I have to do, like just all, just all you have to do, Jill, to get into Harvard is to perform well in the first three classes that I will take, which are sort of like the prerequisites for the program. I have to get a B or higher, or I am not eligible for full admission as a full-time student in the program. For a person like me who doesn't like to say anything out loud until I'm double, triple, extra sure that it's happening, this is terrifying. But I'm putting it out there, do you want to know why? Because I'm taking you all with me. Here's the thing. I am going back to get my master's degree in psychology because I want to be a louder voice for what we're doing around here on A Case of the Jills, which is bringing awareness to amenorrhea, especially for female athletes. I'm not kidding you. I want to take A Case of the Jills as far as I can take it. I want to take the message as far as I can take it. And I want to scream it as loudly as anyone will hear me. I am frustrated by the lack of good guidance, information, and support for women, especially female athletes, with amenorrhea. I am frustrated by the fact that there's a lack of voice for women who don't fit stereotypes, who have been told the wrong information, who have been ignored and otherwise left in the dark on this incredibly serious issue. I'm worried about the legions of people who are quite literally running themselves into the ground. Instead of complaining about the lack of lack of lack that there is out there on this topic, I want to do something about it. You may not know this, but since January, I've been 100% committed to a case of the Jills as my full-time vocation. For this, I was working for my dad at his company, trying to help to take him to the next level. And in January, I made the commitment to dedicate all of my time to this. Let me be clear. <laughs> I dedicated all of my time to this. I don't make any money. I'm only saying that because I want you to understand that my level of commitment goes beyond dollars. So how was I able to take all this time to work on a case of the Jills without making money? It's been tough. I saved a ton of money while I was working for my dad. I got rid of my car and actually haven't bought a new article of clothing in over a year. I'm not kidding. And in terms of affording Harvard, you're absolutely right, I can't afford it. Even though the Harvard Extension School is a bit more economical, I took a loan from my parents to be able to pay for the first three classes, which I will not be able to apply for financial aid for until, you know, I'm a full-time student. So I took a loan from my parents. They believe in me enough to think that it is money well spent and I don't plan on letting them down. If you had asked me a year ago if I was gonna end up going back to school, I would have told her you were nuts. Um, as you probably have heard me say before, I owe well into the six figures for student loans for my undergraduate and previous master's degree. So this was the absolute last thing I thought I was gonna be able to do. But it is because of the specific way that this Harvard program works that I actually might be able to pull this off. So here's the plan. I'm gonna tell you all about it because you're gonna be seeing it anyway. This semester, starting Monday, I'm taking my first class. It's actually in statistics. We may as well get the worst one out of the way while we can. During this same semester, I'm going to be studying for and taking the exam to be an ACE certified health coach. You've seen me talk about this on the website and I sort of alluded to it in a previous video, but but that's what I'm aiming toward. 
I want to be able to continue to be of service to the A Case of the Jills community while I'm in school, so that's really important to me. So this class will be on campus, and I'm doing a quick one in January that will be on campus as well, and then after that, I'll be able to continue my coursework online. So I'm gonna share as much of this journey with you as I possibly can, since the reason I am doing it is because of you. Throughout this whole entire process of me studying, it's really important to me that I maintain my communication with you through the YouTube channel, also through the website and all the other various ways that we keep in touch with each other. I want you to email me. My email is back open, up, and ready to go. A case of the jills at gmail.com. Email me with questions, concerns, rants, raves, anything that you want to talk about. Most of you already do, but just in case, this is the time to do it. I don't know what's going to happen at the end of this master's degree, but I do know one thing. I am gonna try my darndest to make sure that things change for all of us. No more of this taboo crap of people not wanting to say what's going on, of people not knowing where to get information, of people feeling lost and alone. Not on my watch, I'm not gonna let that happen anymore. Yeah, I know it's a big dream and I'm really nervous about it and I know it's a really ambitious goal. You know, I'm not young, people. I know that I look young, but you know, I graduated from college 20 years ago, so this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. I'm really nervous. There's a lot riding on this. My parents gave me a loan. Like, I can't let anyone down. I don't wanna let anyone down. Most of all, I don't wanna let myself down. So, I guess now you can understand why I needed a few extra days off this week. We will be resuming with videos regularly, except we will probably move to about one video a week. We'll see how that goes. It's gonna depend. So, if you hang with me while things are in flux, I promise you so many cool things to come. I am so, so excited to share it all with you. I am so excited that you're on this journey with me. This is gonna be awesome, seriously. If you have not picked up a copy of the Frequently Asked Questions on the acaseofthegills.com website, please do so. It is going to answer so many of the questions that you have already. You can consider it sort of like the opening stages of me trying to forge ahead with getting this information out there. If you're not ready to buy the book, you can get a free preview. It's the first 15 pages of the book and it answers some pretty important questions right off the bat. You can also see a list of the over 50 questions that are answered in the full ebook. I know I'm nuts, I want you to know. I am completely aware of the fact that I am out of my mind. Please don't call me a Harvard student yet. I have not been fully accepted into the program. I am a person taking classes at Harvard right now. When and if I am accepted into the program, we will all celebrate together. So, yeah, here we go. Monday, back to school. I don't even know what to say. You know what, I'm gonna stop talking because my brain's about to explode. Um, I hope that you have an incredible weekend. I hope you know how much I'm thinking of all of you, especially the girls who just got their periods back. It seems like there's so many of you this week. I also wanna say thank you to the girls and Tulip. I wanna say thank you to Tulip, yes. I want to say, Tulip and I want to say thank you to the girls that have listened to me talk about possibly wanting to go back to school and encourage me to move forward. You know who you are and I, we love you. We love you very much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on campus.